Today we're going to be checking out the Yuha Geoglyphs and Intaglios. The best way to visit this location is to check in with your local Bureau of Land Management office and get a map as it has all the locations marked with trails. A geoglyph is a large design produced on the ground using rocks, gravel, or earth. Known as a positive geoglyph, today we are looking at what's called negative geoglyphs. They are created by removing part of the natural ground surface to create different colored textures of ground. The most famous and well-known geoglyphs or intaglios are located in Nazca, Peru. But you won't have to go all the way to Peru to check out some really cool intaglios. We have several located throughout the southwest, all along the Colorado River, and even down here in the Yuha Desert. In the early 1960s, these were spotted by a Border Patrol agent that was flying over the area. And in 1975, they were heavily damaged by off-road vehicles. As you can see in these old photos, by the ones that I've taken in comparison today, these are slowly disappearing. Some sources have dated these to be around 1100 AD. These are slowly fading away, and with each windstorm and rainstorm that passes overhead, a small piece of them disappears. There are several theories as to why these are here. Were they just simple artwork? Or were they something else? Were they a place of prayer? Were they maps? Were they calendars? What were they? They were a part of history, and they should be protected. Looking directly to the south, you can see Mount Signal in the distance. Was this intaglio lined up with Mount Signal for any particular reason? Now we'll be heading down the road another 500 feet to two more geoglyphs. Once again, with this geoglyph, you can see Mount Signal lined up in the background. All of these geoglyphs in this area seem to have some type of alignment with Mount Signal.
As we take a look at this one from the ground level, you can't even tell that it's there. And if it wasn't for this fence protecting it, it probably would have been destroyed a long time ago. So when you're out there off-roading, please be careful and stick to the designated trails unless specified otherwise. And if you see something, get out and check it out. You might find something that you never knew was there. This one is really faded and hard to see, but if you look a little closer, in some of the still photographs, it looks like it may be a path or a trail that a shaman may have walked during a ceremony. Most of these intaglios in the area are located on the edge of a river bank or on the edge of a canyon rim, just like these. We hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching another episode of Akatio Outlaws.